again. Turn back, Fred. They're wise to you. Here he comes now. He's throwing out a smoke screen. Armour thinks he's fooling us. It's cover! Still alive, and there he goes. If he gets away, the secret of our cave is out. Bill. Bill. They'll be after us, Bill. We've got to get out of here. Can you make it? I'll try. Where's my leg? Is it broken? No, I guess not. Just bend a little. I can't make it, Fred. You better beat it. Nothing doing. Oh, go ahead. I've got it. Get out of that suit. What good will that do? You'll see. They'll never believe that's me. Why not? I'm a much better looking guy than that. The other plane fell just back of those rocks. Duck, quick, before that gas tank explodes. Well, tried to save his pal, and the explosion got them both. Yeah. The Black Ace will be so glad to hear this that he won't worry about losing those two planes. Boy, you sure put it over on huh? Tell me, how did you get away from them? Oh, that was a cinch. They got a radio message from the Black Ace that you was coming. The Black Ace? Well, how could that be? When I left San Juan, the sheriff was holding him prisoner. The Black Ace a prisoner? Who is he? Collins, the superintendent of the dam. He had a bullet hole in his arm right where I saw the black ace get shot. We're going back to San Juan right now and question him. But I tell you, Sheriff, I'm not the black ace. 
That's because I happen to have a wounded arm. More well. than that, Colin. It's the fact that you refuse to explain where you were during the attack on the dam. But, Miss Gray, Collins has worked for your father for years. Why should he want to put him out of business and throw himself out of a good job? Then why won't he explain where he's been? And how his arm was wounded? I'll explain plenty, Miss Gray, when the right time comes. Well, you'll stay in jail till you do. You about through with him, Doc? In just a moment. Uh, step this way, Collins, yes. please. That'll fix you all right. All true? Uh, yes, I'll come over to the jail in the morning and change the bandage. I can't see! Stop him, doctor! Stop him! I can't! I'm, I'm blinded! run out of here, Martin? I didn't see him. Then he must still be in here. You know, if we jump straight down from here, we'd be five miles nearer San Juan. Sure, and if we had that car that's coming up, we'd be there in no time. Say, maybe that guy will give us a lift. But he's gone the wrong way. That's better than walking, ain't it? What's the idea? How did you get away from the sheriff? He had nothing to hold me for. Machine gun. What are you doing with them? Well, not that it's any of your business, but I'm taking them to Gray's construction camp. You might get away with that, Colin. If I didn't know that you're on the wrong road. I'm taking you back to the sheriff. Drive up there and we'll pick up my pal. <sighs> Haven't you any better sense than to do that with a sprained ankle? Well, you don't suppose for a minute that I jumped off that mountain on purpose, do you? I slipped. Get over it. 
Please listen to me, Dad. You're not well enough to get up. Dr. Flint said... But I must get back to the dam. I've got to fight the mystery squadron some way, or they'll wipe me out. We've still got time to finish our contract, Mr. Gray. I know that, Davis. But with you laid up and my superintendent Collins wanted by the sheriff, there's no one to carry on the work. I've got to get back on the job. You mustn't take any chances, Mr. Gray. Everything depends on you getting well. I'll carry on at the dam. That's splendid of you, Mr. Davis. But you're in no condition to go back to work. I'm afraid you're right. I guess I'd better get back to my room. Come in. Hello, Miss Gray. I'm sorry the Mystery Squadron gave you such a beating, Gray. Yes. I can just about imagine how sorry you are, Johnson. Well, I am. And in spite of your stubborn attitude, I'm still willing to take the contract to build the dam off your hands. By the way, Johnson, with all the trouble we're having, why are you so anxious to get the job? Because while you'll go broke trying to fight the Mystery Squadron, I can finish the dam and make a nice profit. I have the money and the organization to wipe the Mystery Squadron off the map. What you mean is that the Mystery Squadron won't fight you because you're their leader. If you're silly enough to believe such nonsense, it's useless for me to try and reason with you. I've given you your chance. Good day. Dad, why did you accuse Mr. Johnson? Because he's disliked and fought me for years. I know his methods. He'll do anything to get what he wants. Come on, Collins. We've got a little business to attend to. You heard me. Get out. Station A, Bracken standing by. You fools, Drum will trick you. We'll put her at the tavern now. Yes, Chief. We discovered the trick. And Carter is after them. He ought to be there by this time. I'm so glad you captured Colin. So he did escape. He tried to bluff me into believing the sheriff let him go. When we grabbed him, he was heading straight for the Mystery Squadron's cave with his car full of machine guns. We've got the goods on you, Collins. You're the black ace, all right. And we're going to turn you over to the sheriff. That must be him now. Is the sheriff here, miss? I've been looking all over for him. No, but what's the trouble? Oh, a man broke into the express office and stole a shipment of guns. Is this your man? That's him, all right. Are you sure? Oh, I ought to be. I winked at my rifles. He's getting away. You shot him? Plumb through the right arm. Well, I guess that's got you stopped, has it, Cromwell? Certainly proves I'm not the Black Ace. How do you figure that out? Because the Black Ace was shot during the attack on the dam. You're still going to have plenty of trouble talking yourself out of stealing those machine guns. I'm holding you till the sheriff gets here. That's fine. Then I can get back to the station. Wait a minute. You got a candy counter at the station? Why, yes. I'll be back in a minute. Where are you going? Oh, boy, I got to get some jelly beans to calm me down. That eliminates Collins as the black ace. My father suspects Mr. Johnson. So do I now. I'd like to talk to your father. Let's go to his room. I know he'd like to question Collins. Stop where you are.
Beat it, Collins. You're going with me, Cromwell. Get in there. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Drop that gun, Cromwell. The black ace. Drop it, I tell you. If you value Miss Gray's safety, you won't try to get away again. Get going, Cromwell. Not that way. that scream. Miss Gray and the Black Ace are in the closet. There's a secret passage to the closet door from Doc Flint's room. 